another temperature drop. Ruth, are you here? How old are you? Okay, Ruthie, come out and play. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, go, go, go! Yo, guys, I feel like I need a jacket right now. It just got insanely cold. Did you just touch that box? Can you touch that again, please? I'm honestly tripping right now. I feel cold, nauseous, and lightheaded. I mean, I don't know if anyone else touched that doll, but that doll physically moved by itself. No one claimed to have. I think that doll just moved. I think that doll just moved. Are you by the doll? Tu parles en français ou anglais ou les deux? Qu'est-ce que tu fais aujourd'hui? Yeah, some weird shit going on over there. Can you touch that device for me? How does it feel to have been in these cells before you died? Are you upset? Are you angry? Tell me how you felt. I've been up here for a little bit now. Nothing really has changed. Now I cut out a lot of it because I've been sitting here, nothing's happened. This thing hasn't even gone off yet. But really soon I'm gonna pass this off to chill. So I may even leave this for like a different part and just finish this part off right now. But it's been so different, it's been so weird in here. Is there anybody here with me? Can you touch something or move something? I feel your presence here with me. I want to know a question. I want to know if you're here with me 100% and I want to know your story. I want to know how you're feeling right now. Knowing the fact that you sat in these cells upon your death. Can you tell me if you're here? by touching this black box beside me oh. 
I'm legitimately, guys, really dizzy right now. <coughs> Yo. <coughs> I don't feel like myself. I honestly feel like somebody's in here with me. And it's like really cold. I don't know if that slam is up here. Can you please tell me if you're here? Just touch this box, just like this. Can you do that again? What? I'm not... Hello? Hello? Yo. No? Yo. Yo. Are you doing your... Come here for a sec. What's going on? Were you up here at all? Or did you just get up here? I just got up here now. Because, like, man, I heard stuff, like, on the other side. Did you? Oh, yeah. But I wasn't sure if, like, anybody came up. I didn't hear anybody. But this thing was, uh, just going off. So I was just in solitaire. I thought maybe it was from up here. No, man. I don't know what the others are doing. I'm pretty sure they're still in that like break classroom area or whatever. It's creepy as hell. Not man. as hell, man. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go back to uh, that area and find out what the hell did that. <laughs> if uh, have you tried downstairs yet, like solitary confinement yet? I was literally just there. Oh. I was just starting out the video and I heard this massive bang. I didn't yeah. see anybody around. I don't know what the hell that was. I think once I get more activity, I'll swap with Angelo and uh, he can take a turn up here. I think Chels is gonna try and do this, potentially. Can somebody go over and touch that device? I will leave right now. Do me a favor, go and touch that device right now. Touch it fully. Let me know that you're here. Oh my god, this doll is having an exorcism or something. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Somebody just f***ing touched my leg. Somebody just touched my leg. Now it's going blurry. <gasps> Holy f***. Hello? Oh my god. Angelo? Alright guys, I'm actually gonna leave this uncut because I have no idea what the hell just happened. I swear to god something has touched me on my leg here. And please let me know if you hear or see anything. Oh, this is probably a little bit different than my other videos, guys. But I'm specifically... Okay, that was a f***ing noise over there. That was like something moving. Oh, holy f***. I didn't even see that there. It's very into this thing. Is anybody in this room? My girlfriend saw you or felt you. Yeah, literally guys, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Angelo is down there. I mean, I think I just saw him. All right, thank you. Legitimately though, guys. I'm walking into all of this darkness. 
with nothing but my lit up screen right now. I've never been so scared in my life, guys. I honestly have never felt this scared in my life. I'm honestly tripping right now. I feel cold, nauseous, and lightheaded. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yo. Yo, I don't know where I am right now. I really don't know where I am right now. Oh. Set this down. Go, what's happening? Oh. Oh, I had to cut out, guys. I had to cut that for like two minutes. I was just swearing. Oh my god. Hello? I can't do this anymore. I really apologize, guys. I cut that out. I was just swearing and... Oh, didn't want you guys to truly see me like that. What to do is touch it. Just like this. Okay, all you have to do is come over, gonna touch your finger or something, okay? It'll tell me that you're here. Where is it here though? It's a bunch of their other stuff. Is that a beaver? Oh, it's not a beaver. Weird. Is there any, whoa, are there any spirits attached to the dolls here? Oh, something like cracked over there. Are you over there? Some of you guys may actually know that upstairs on death row I had quite the experience. I was like shaking and stuff. I had to step outside for like 15 minutes and I gained the courage to come back and try my best to do this video. It's probably going to be another 10 minutes.
I think that's that. But I'm gonna try and do my best to finish off this video. <laughs> I was just, like I really wanted to show you guys the haunted dolls here. I'm gonna be real. And it's kind of nerve wracking here knowing that upstairs I had a really weird feeling. Like I felt like I was gonna pass out. But here I kind of feel a little bit more better. Can you go and touch that black box? It's a whip? A whip, yeah, in one of the cases. A 12 shell whip. I don't even think I peeked in here last time. Look at all these stamp things. So yeah, not gonna lie guys, I'm gonna keep this short. I'm gonna pin it back to Chell. She's up there. Yeah, I think everybody's ready to just go home right now because we went through a lot tonight, but look at all this stuff here. It's a bunch of the old stuff they used. All right, enough of this. I'll probably show you guys more a little bit after, but I'm really worried about Chels. Maybe something's gonna happen there. I have no idea, but she's a lot more sensitive than I am, so anything could happen. So what I want you guys to do is please, please, please wish her the best because she's very sensitive and, you know, I don't want her to pass out or anything in there, so I don't know. Let's go see what she's up to. Let's do this. So, it's my turn for the alone challenge. I'm just gonna go spend like some time in solitary because everyone else creeps me out. Oh, it's just you. Okay. <laughs> Did you go in solitary? Yeah. How was it? It was okay. Like something touched my arm. Oh. Did anyone pull on your pants yet? No. Did you have somebody pull on your pants? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's Ruth, apparently. She does that. Oh, for real? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> All right. Ruth, if you're around, you want to pull on my pants? Okay. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. Okay, I'm in solitary by myself. I do have Boo Buddy. So, if we're gonna turn him on. Okay, so that means he's calibrating. And soon she'll introduce herself. Okay, so a cool little fun fact about Boo Buddy is that the creator of Boo Buddy actually used his own daughter's voice for the bear. So once things happen on the bear, I'll explain it to you. Just Angelo. Okay, is there anyone in here with me? Can you touch the bear? Ruth, if you're in here, count can... with me. One, two, three, four. That was creepy. I don't want to count with you. Ruth, are you in here with me? So we have Angela who's just walking around right now. So if you hear Do you know your alphabet? A, B, C, D. So Elliot, this is actually Elliot's bear. 
he was saying that the bear sometimes will just randomly prompt and has like talk, so it'll randomly talk. It doesn't mean that anything's happening, it just is a prompt for it. So pretty much what we're looking for. Mm, it's cold in here. Alright, so that means that there's a temperature drop. So that either means that there's a spirit around or there's just a spirit around, that's all. I know you're here. Come towards this bear. Can you make a noise for me? Listen to the bear, Petite Ruth. Come hang out. Come on, Petite Ruth. I'm friendly, I just want to hang out with you. Did you make it cold in here? So again, that's another temperature drop. So far we've had two temperature drops in the span of like four minutes. Come on, Petite Ruth. Nice try. Chelsea? You have my attention. Let's Did play. Did it get colder in here? Another temperature drop. Temperature's dropping. Why is the temperature dropping? Oh, that's interesting. Is that you, Ruth? Knock the bear over. Turn off my lights. Are you afraid of us? Do you want to be my friend? Yes. Only if you show yourself to us. Come on, Rosie. Are you sad? Do you need help? Did your father do anything to you? For those that don't know her father was the warden. Do you want to hold my hand? Something just touched her. Really? Yeah, that means that something just touched her hand. Wow. Thanks, Ruth. 
All right, that's my cue to leave. See you later, Ruth. <laughs> See you later, boys. I just left. And it's just me. Did you make it cold in here? The temperature dropping there, and Ruthie somewhere in here. Oh, it just got really blurry. Okay. Ruthie, why don't you give the bear a hug? actually from this bear. From the little bear? Yeah, so we've had like maybe four temperature drops and oh, then cool. something touched the bear. We're thinking it's Ruthie. Do you want to play a game? I'm sure Ruth wants to play a game. So does it just like randomly ask questions? Yeah, so those are just like prompts. Okay. And then if it says something about how it's cold in here or warm in here, it's temperature drop. Mm -hmm. And then if it says something like, oh, I like when you hold my hand or tickle me, it means that something touched the bear. Why don't you come hug the bear again? Ruth, are you here? How old are you? Is that a question for us? You can answer it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 30. How old are you? Same. It actually did. Oh, shit. Oh. That just went to red. Yeah. It, it, it's not the first time it's happening here either. We know you're here with us, Ruthie. Do you want us to take the bear up to where you lived? metal. What kind of music do you like? Oh. Yeah, that EMF is just going crazy. I heard you like it when we whistle. Do you want us to whistle to you? Touch the bear if you want us to whistle.
We love that. It was indistinct. It was definitely different than like my regular footstep. <laughs> All right, Gretchen. What the heck are these signs? Okay, Ruby, I'm putting the bear in your favorite spot with Gretchen. Hi, I'm Boo Buddy. What's your name? Did you say something? Could you please say it again? So we have the uh, bear here in the crib again. It is slightly rocking, but it could just be because I put the bear in. Yeah. We'll see if it picks up. Is that you, Ruth? Are you the one moving that? You want to say hello to us? Count with me. One. Two, three, four. Ooh, it's cold in here. Ruthie, is. is that you? It is cold in here. It's like a tapping noise coming from over there. You hear a tapping noise? Yeah. Really slightly, but... Is someone over there? Do you know your alphabet? A, B, C, D. E, F, G. Can you continue it? Did you make it cold in here? The temperature drop. Who's in here with us? Ruth, if that's you, can you make the crib swing? Oh! Christ. What was that? I don't know. Did is that thing move? Like it wasn't like that before, was it? I don't know. Is there a way up here from there? I have... Can you make a noise for me? You already did that. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Who's up here with us? Who did that? Just touched your stomach. Really? Yeah. That's what Perfect. that means. Perfect. Thanks for making it cooler. And it just got cold. It is really. It's getting really, really cold. Yeah. Here. Like for real. This thought is so active. It is. But for real though, what the hell was that? I don't know. It sounded like it was coming from behind that, like that black thing. Dude, right where my hand is, right here, it's like ice cold. Oh my gosh, yeah. You feel that, right? What is that? Something's moving over there. Do you have a favorite song? If uh, you hear, make a noise. I do have a favorite song, but it's not PG-18. <laughs> <laughs> or less than that, I don't know what you would call it. Did it get colder in here? I don't know. Okay, Ruthie, come out and play. <laughs> oh my god. Don't come out and play. Yeah, you can stay there. <laughs> yeah, you're good. 
We're good. Yeah, we don't want to play. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Good thing I went pee before I did this long challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Terrified to move right now? I know, same. <laughs> hey, no. No, no. It's I, okay. Honestly, I don't think that's Ruth. No, I don't think I'm so either. I do not think that's Ruth. Um, so we don't really Did want to. Did you make it cold in here? No, no. No, that wasn't us. Okay, whatever's in here, we don't want to play. Freezing in here. It is. It's absolutely ice cold. I really don't want to turn around either. <laughs> Just the thought of having to leave this room scares me more than being in this room. Yeah, for real. Do you want to hold my hand? Something just held her hand. Do you want to hold my hand? Look, he's reaching his hand out for you. Do you want to hold my hand? I'm literally getting a headache. Do you want to play a game? Are you? Yeah. Like a massive oh. migraine in the back of my head. I think I heard something again. Yeah, I know. I'm starting to not like it up here. I agree. Maybe we should go back down soon? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave the bear here. I don't want it. Aw, thanks. I like holding hands with you. Alright, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was weird. That was... Thanks for making it colder. Okay, yeah. 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 Bad timing. Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. Ah! Okay, go, go, go! That was, that was weird for you for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just yeah. glad Angela was there because if I had to do that all by myself, I would be in that crib, like, <laughs> cradling myself. Did you end up doing it a little bit by herself? Yeah, or? I did. Yeah, I was in solitary for my, like, by myself okay. for a while. And then I had visitors. Oh, wow. So everyone yeah. came to visit. Okay, though, for real? <laughs> you look shooken. I am shooken, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, that was a bit terrifying. I'm not going Yeah. I, I don't like it up there. You ran from the bear? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. It wasn't really the bear. Per that, 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 that's it, Ruthie, that's no, it was, that was not Ruthie. That was not Ruthie. <laughs> I don't no. think it was Ruthie. I don't think so. Did the trail start rocking? No, not really. No. I mean, it was like moving slightly up. So the, the bear was saying it was being touched, but the cradle was not more. Yes, that's yeah. right. And it was getting like extremely cold right next to where the crib was. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's a wrap for today, guys. So much stuff to look at here. I'm just glad I'm feeling a lot better, kind of yeah, refreshing and stuff. Yeah. All right, we're actually gonna head out. We're probably gonna check out the courtyard on the way out and see what's up with that, and then we're gonna head out of here. It's been a long night, and we have a long drive to go. <laughs> we're locking up. Wow. So yeah, don't forget, guys, yeah. Elliot runs a paranormal group called Phantoms of Yore. I'll list it all in the description below. You guys can go and check that out. He's done a variety of events here all right guys we're heading out for the day don't forget to go and follow phantoms of your elliot hooked us up with this spot it's not all the time we get the opportunity to come and do this like i said he's held several other events here with people that are skeptics they've come in here and tested out for themselves now if you guys are in the area after covid or whatever book an event with him and he'll actually show you guys around and he'll show you actual paranormal tools as well so if you guys are kind of curious and you know want to get into the paranormal stuff and are in the area go and follow him and book some with him but look honestly it's been a long night we're about to head out and yeah it's been a crazy ride how are you feeling babe ready to go home tired yeah. i had like the worst i don't even think i told chelsea yet but i had the worst experience up on the third floor and that is death row floor the floor where you guys saw that crib and that creepy ass doll that you have <laughs> 
Gretchen, Gretchen. I like fell to the floor. I like couldn't feel my head. I was like really lightheaded. I like put the camera down, like leaned up against the wall. Yeah, I didn't tell her that. I didn't tell her that. She's probably gonna be like, Omar, why did you tell me? But long story short, I stepped outside for like 20 minutes and I felt a lot better. I'm not even joking. And Angelo and Chels finished up that third part here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I haven't actually looked at it yet and I haven't seen what you guys went through. So don't spoil it for me. I honestly feel so drained. Me too. Really badly. Um, big shout out to Elliot though. He's actually the one who hooked us up with this location. And a long, long time ago, I sold him a Divic box that I bought off an estate sale. And he did his own thing. He actually runs a Phantoms of Your Paranormal Group. That's the name, Phantoms of Your. And you guys could actually go and give that a follow. He's basically Facebook based, but if you guys do want to watch some live streams, he does a lot of it in this place and in other places mostly heritage and historic places but if you guys do want to watch some live streams he does do a lot more here with his group and by himself so if you guys do want to watch that i think he does a few other spots at the moment because covid's been a really big to everyone and locations have just been so hard to you know come by with all that being said if you guys do want to go and follow him i will leave a facebook link down below everything is in the description below so go ahead and do that i hope you guys like this series Honestly, I'm drained, she's drained. Long story short, hope you guys enjoy this series. Don't forget to go and follow us on social media and please, please, please go and check out Elliot on Facebook. He does an amazing job with all this paranormal stuff and he's really big in the paranormal community. So if you guys do wanna go and support him, go and support him and tell him that Omar's fans came and hooked him up and yeah, we're gonna get out of here. Ready? Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> all right, we're getting out of here. See you guys in the next one. Peace.